350 plus seriously funny dad jokes. The ultimate dad joke book. Compiled by Meredith Burke and Jenny Patterson. Narrated by Christopher West. Copyright 2021 Old Town Publishing. Table of Contents. One liners. Riddles. Word play. Silly signs and notices. A blank walks into a bar. Signs of the times. Silly stories. Hilarious headlines. Page one. Introduction. Dads are unique creatures with a sense of humor all their own. This book is a collection of jokes that could be told by and to fathers, but will be equally as humorous when told by friends or anyone else in your family. Most of the jokes in this book are of the classic one-liner or riddle variety. Once in a while, you'll see a longer shaggy dog story. For those of you unfamiliar with this kind of joke, it's simply a short story with a terribly funny punchline. Here, you'll also find some great puns, signs of the times, headlines, and wordplay. Tell these jokes and hear the room erupt with groans, titters, and guffaws. Page 2 If you enjoy this book, please leave a review. We're a small publisher and reviews help more than you might think. Page 3 it's a lengthy article about ancient Japanese sword fighters, but I can summarize it for you. I finally told my suitcases we would not be going on a vacation this year. Now I'm dealing with emotional baggage. I'm trying to organize a hide-and-seek tournament, but good players are hard to find. Page 4 I remember as a kid, my dad got fired from his job as a road worker for theft. I refused to believe he could do such a thing. But when I got home, the signs were all there. I once worked at a pizza shop just to get by. I needed the dough. I finally got over my addiction to chocolate, marshmallows, and nuts. I won't lie, it was a rocky road. Page 5. It's inappropriate to make a dad joke if you're not a dad. In fact, it's a faux pas. Page 6. There were hundreds of people at the boat store paddle sale. It was quite an ordeal. Before my surgery, the anesthesiologist offered to knock me out with gas or a boat paddle. It was an ether-or situation. Page 7. Why did the father try to talk his daughter out of being an archaeologist? He was afraid her life would be in ruins. It takes guts to be an organ donor. The rotation of the earth really makes my day. Writing my name in cursive is my signature move. Page 8. I got hit on the head with a can of Coke today. Don't worry, I'm not hurt. It was a soft drink. A man tried to assault me with milk, cream, and butter. How dare he! The other day I held a door open for a clown. I thought it was a nice gesture. Why are elevator jokes so good? They work on many levels. Page 10. A Cook and His Brother Hubert Smythington, owner of the best restaurant in town, had a problem. Two of his cooks quit at the same time without giving any notice. Business was at an all-time high, and he had to find someone right away. The restaurant manager suggested... He placed an advertisement in the local paper. Hubert, however, was looking for a quicker solution. Charles, his one remaining cook, was the best chef he'd ever met, and Charles had a brother, Bill, who was looking for work. 
Against the advice of the restaurant manager, Hubert hired Bill to start work right away. That night, Bill set off a grease fire and burnt the kitchen down. As Hubert surveyed the disaster the next morning, his manager said to him, I was trying to tell you, you can't judge a cook by his brother. Page 12. Today, my son asked, can I have a bookmark? And I burst into tears. Eleven years old, and he still doesn't know. My name is Brian. I changed my iPod's name to Titanic. It's sinking now. I like telling Dad jokes. Sometimes he laughs. I didn't like my beard at first. Then it grew on me. Page 13. Daughter. Dad, should I put the cat out? Dad. I didn't know it was on fire. Yesterday, I was washing the car with my son until he said, Please, Dad, why don't you just use a sponge? I ordered a chicken and an egg online. I'll let you know. Page 14. A man walks into an apiary and asks the beekeeper for a dozen bees, to which the beekeeper replies, Sure, and I'll throw in the 13th as a freebie. Police arrested a bottle of water because it was wanted in three states. Solid, liquid, and gas. Someone left Play-Doh on my front porch. I don't know what to make of it. Page 15. I don't trust stairs. They're always up to something. Did you hear the one about the guy who invented the knock-knock joke? He won the Nobel Prize. I decided to sell my vacuum cleaner. It was just gathering dust. Page 16. The other day, I went to the hospital and took a blood test. My kleptomania has really gotten out of hand. I had a neck brace fitted years ago and haven't looked back since. What's so good about Switzerland? The flag is a real plus. Page 17. Did you hear about the new restaurant called Karma? There's no menu. You get what you deserve. Scientists got together to study the effects of alcohol on a person's walk. The result was staggering. To whoever stole my copy of Microsoft Office, I will find you. You have my word. Page 18. Before the crowbar was invented, crows had to drink at home. I want to grow my own food, but... I can't find bacon seeds. When you've seen one shopping center, you've seen a mall. Page 19. Norwegian ships have barcodes so you can scan the Navy in. Most puns make me numb, but math puns make me number. I read that by law, you must turn on your headlights when it's raining in Sweden. But how am I supposed to know when it's raining in Sweden? Page 20. I tried calling the tinnitus helpline, but it just kept ringing. I know a lot of jokes about retired people, but none of them work. I'm pining for a good tree pun. I wish they were more popular. I was addicted to the hokey pokey, but I turned myself around. Page 21. What happens if you get scared half to death twice? Yesterday, I spotted an albino Dalmatian. I thought it was the least I could do. I got my daughter a fridge for her birthday. I can't wait to see her face light up when she opens it. Page 22. Did you hear that 
Arnold Schwarzenegger will be acting in a movie about classical composers? He'll be Bach. My friends and I have named our group Blanket. It's a cover band. Cashier, would you like your milk in a bag? Dad, no, just leave it in the carton. Page 23. Did you hear about the kid napping at school? Don't worry, he woke up. I'm on a seafood diet. When I see food, I eat it. I used to be addicted to soap, but I'm clean now. I never go anywhere without a relief map. It shows where the restrooms are. Page 24. I'm so good at sleeping, I can do it with my eyes closed. I sued the airport for misplacing my luggage, but I lost my case. Hostess, do you have reservations? Dad, no, I'm confident we want to eat here. I used to be afraid of crossing a bridge, but I'm getting over it. Page 25 I was going to tell a time-traveling joke, but you didn't like it. If you need a guy to captain an ark, I know a guy. Did you hear about the fire at the campgrounds? It was all intense. I'm reading a book about anti-gravity. It's impossible to put down. Page 26. I got a great joke about construction, but I'm still working on it. What can hold a car but can't lift a feather? A garage. Have you ever tried eating a clock? It's very time-consuming. Page 27. My friend said to me, what rhymes with orange? And I said, no. It doesn't. Did you know they won't be making yardsticks any longer? I stayed up all night to see where the sun went, and then it dawned on me. Those who get too big for their britches will be totally exposed in the end. Page 28 Haunted French pancakes give me the crepes. Did you hear about the cross-eyed teacher who lost her job? She couldn't control her pupils. Page 29 Mahatma Gandhi, as you know, walked barefoot most of the time, which produced an impressive set of calluses on his feet. He also ate very little, which made him rather frail, and with his odd diet he suffered from bad breath. This made him a Super calloused, fragile mystic hexed by halitosis. Page 30. I used to have a fear of hurdles, but I got over it. England has no kidney bank, but it does have a Liverpool. I know a guy who's addicted to drinking brake fluid, but he says he can stop any time. When the smog lifts in Los Angeles, you see L.A. Page 31 I got some used batteries. They were given out free of charge. I love dad jokes. That's just how I roll. Dad, are we pyromaniacs? Yes, we are, son. What do you call a pig with laryngitis? Disgruntled. Page 32. Why do bees stay in their hives during the winter? Swarm. If you're bad at bargaining, you'll end up paying the price. Just so everyone's clear, I'm going to put my glasses on. When I lost my job as a stage designer... I laughed without making a scene. Page 33 Never buy flowers from a monk. 
Only you can prevent florist friars. How much did the pirate pay to get his lobes pierced? A buccaneer! Page 34 I lost my friend's audiobook, and now I'll never hear the end of it. Why is dark spelled with a K and not a C? Because you can't see in the dark. Why is it unwise to share your secrets with a clock? Time will tell. Page 35 Prison is just one word to you, but for some people, it's a whole sentence. I've heard people say they pick their noses, but I was born with mine. I tried looking up opaque in the dictionary. The definition was unclear. Page 36 First restaurant to open on the moon. Great food, no atmosphere. I have a split personality, said Tom, being frank. This is my stepladder. I never knew my real ladder. Page 37 Five-fourths of people admit they're bad with fractions. What's the Nevada City that all the dentists visit? Floss Vegas! Son, Dad, you haven't listened to one word I've said, have you? Dad, what a strange way to start a conversation! Page 38 I wanted to go on a diet, but I feel like I have way too much on my plate right now. It turns out when you're asked to pick who your favorite child is, you're supposed to pick one of your own. I could tell a joke about pizza, but it's a little cheesy. Spring is here! I'm so excited! I wet my plants! Page 39 Want to hear a joke about paper? Never mind. It's terrible. It takes guts to be an organ donor. A wise man does not keep sledgehammer and slow computer in same room. Page 40 If a child refuses to sleep during nap time, is she guilty of resisting arrest? My friend told me all the things he wanted to do on his 32nd birthday. I said, there's no way we can do all those things in 30 seconds. When does a joke become a dad joke? When it becomes a parent. Page 41 I like telling dad jokes. Sometimes he laughs. I thought about going on an almond and cashew diet. That's just nuts. If a vegetarian eats vegetables, what does a humanitarian eat? Page 42. I went to the store and bought three dozen eggs and a hen whey. What's a hen whey? About six pounds. My doctor said my DNA was backwards. I said, A-N-D? I lost my job at the bank on my very first day. A woman asked me to check her balance, so I pushed her over. Page 43 My friend keeps saying, cheer up, man, it could be worse. You could be stuck underground in a hole full of water. I know he means well. I just made up a new word. Plagiarism. My boss got really mad at the fact that I have no sense of direction, so I packed up all my stuff and write. Page 44 I used to work in a shoe recycling shop. It was soul-destroying. Some advice. You can pick your friends. You can pick your nose. But you can't pick your friend's nose. Page 45 I had a neck brace fitted years ago. 
I've never looked back since. A man who runs in front of car gets tired, but a man who runs behind car gets exhausted. I just watched a program about beavers. It was the best damn show I've ever seen. Page 46 I've never gone to a rifle range before. I decided to give it a shot. What's the nicest vegetable? The sweet potato. I would avoid the sushi. It's a little fishy. Page 47 I wondered why the baseball was getting bigger. Then it hit me. Acupuncture is a jab well done. That's the point of it. Two antennae fall in love and got married. The ceremony wasn't much, but the reception was excellent. Page 48 So what if I can't define apocalypse? It's not like it's the end of the world. So what if I can't define the word definition? It's not like it means anything. The guy who fell onto the upholstery machine last week is now fully recovered. Page 49 Did you hear about the butcher who backed into his meat grinder? He got a little behind in his orders. How about the optician who fell into her lens-making machine? She made a spectacle of herself. A will is a dead giveaway. Page 50 Then there was the evil toy maker who stumbled into a vat of hot plastic. He became a reformed character. He had a photographic memory, but it was never fully developed. I tried needling him, but he didn't get the point. Page 51 when she saw her first strands of gray hair, she thought she'd die. Did you hear about the fellow whose entire left side was cut off? He's all right now. Heard the one about two guys who stole a calendar? They each got six months. Page 52 The roundest night at King Arthur's round table was Circumference. I don't play soccer professionally. I just do it for kicks. I wouldn't buy anything with Velcro. It's a total ripoff. Page 53 The short fortune teller who escaped from prison is now a small medium at large. Did you know that if you replace W with T in what, where, and when, you get the answer to each of them. Last night, I dreamed I was swimming in an ocean of orange soda. Turns out it was just a fantasy. Page 54 Don't worry about your smartphone or your TV spying on you. Your vacuum cleaner has been collecting dirt for years. Maybe oxygen is slowly killing you and... It just takes 75 to 100 years to fully work. If you can't think of a word, say, I forgot the English word for it. That way, people will just think you're bilingual. Page 55 Times change. A hundred years ago, everyone owned a horse and only the rich had cars. Today, everyone has cars and only the rich own horses. I don't mean to brag, but I finished my 14-day diet food supply in 3 hours and 20 minutes. Page 56 You kids don't know how easy you have it. When I was your age, I had to walk 9 feet through shag carpet to change the TV channel. Friend, your wife says you never buy her flowers. Is that true? Father, to be honest... I never knew she sold them. Page 57 Let me tell you about my grandfather. He was a good man, a brave man. 
He had the heart of a lion and a lifetime ban from the zoo. Page 59 Weather in Russia A man and his wife were visiting Russia on vacation. Before leaving, the husband read all the guidebooks and considered himself an expert on the country. Wherever they went, the man took great pleasure in telling their guide, Rudolph, all about the sights and correcting Rudolph whenever he could. This embarrassed both Rudolph and the man's wife. On the last morning of their stay, Rudolph told them to bring their coats because it was going to rain. The husband argued that neither his guidebook nor his cell phone has mentioned anything about rain at that time of year. So Rudolph and the man's wife both wore their raincoats and carried umbrellas, while the man refused to even wear a jacket. Less than an hour later, it began to pour. Shaking her head, the wife turned to her husband and said, Rudolph the Red knows rain, dear. Page 61 Questions to Ponder How can you tell if blue cheese is moldy? At a movie theater, which armrest is yours? If people evolved from monkeys, why are monkeys still around? Why is there a D in fridge but not in refrigerator? Who knew what time it was when the first clock was made? Why isn't a fireman called a waterman? Page 62 A blank walks into a bar. A ham sandwich walks into a bar and orders a beer. Sorry, sir, says the bartender. We don't serve food here. The past, present, and future walked into a bar. It was tense. Bono and The Edge walk into a Dublin bar, and the bartender says, Oh no, not you two again. A $5 bill walks into a bar, and the bartender says, Hey, this is a singles bar. Page 63. A snake slithers into a bar and asks for a beer. The bartender replies, Sorry, we don't serve your kind here. Why not? asks the snake. You can't hold your liquor. A Roman walks into a bar, holds up two fingers and says, Five beers, please. A commander walks into a bar and orders everyone around. Page 64. A dyslexic walks into a bra. The bartender says, We don't serve time travelers in here. A time traveler walks into a bar. Courier and Helvetica walk into a bar. Get out of here, the bartender shouted. We don't serve your type here. A grasshopper walks into a bar, and the bartender says, We have a drink named after you. The grasshopper says, You have a drink called Freddy? Page 65 Two guys walk into a bar. The third guy ducked just in time. A neutron walks into a bar and asks, How much for a whiskey? The bartender smiles and says, For you, no charge. A ghost walks into a bar. The bartender says, Sorry, we don't serve spirits. A cat walks into a bar, then out of the bar, then back in, then out again. A brain walks into a bar and orders a beer. The bartender says, I'm not serving you. You're out of your skull. Page 66. A weasel walks into a bar. You look underage, says the bartender. I can't serve you alcohol. Okay, I'll have a pop, goes the weasel. A lion walks into a bar and asks the bartender, Do you have any jobs? Bartender shakes his head and says, No, sorry. Why don't you try the circus? The lion replies, Why would the circus need a bartender? A pig walks into a bar and orders ten drinks. After he drinks them all, the bartender says, Don't you need to know where the bathroom is? The pig says, No, I go wee 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 all the way home.
Page 67 A penguin walked into a bar and asked the bartender if he'd seen his brother. The bartender replied, I'm not sure. What does he look like? A duck walks into a bar, orders a drink. Will that be cash? The bartender asks. No, says the duck. Put it on my bill. A crow wearing a pearl necklace walks into a bar and orders a drink. I've never seen a crow wear pearls before, says the bartender. What do you expect with basic black, answers the crow. A guy walks into a bar with a newt on his shoulder. What do you call that, asks the bartender. The guy replies, I call him Tiny because he's my newt. Page 68. A termite walks into a bar and asks, Is the bartender here? A cat walks into a bar and orders a glass of water. The bartender asks, Are you going to drink it or just knock it over on purpose? Two eggs, a sausage, and a pancake walk into a bar. Bartender says, Sorry, we don't serve breakfast here. A cookie walks into a bar, realizes that it's closing time, and falls apart. The bartender says, I guess that's how the cookie crumbles. A banana walks into a bar. The bartender says, Sorry, pal, but you gotta split. Page 69 A cornstalk walks into a bar. The bartender says, You wanna hear a good joke? The cornstalk says, I'm all ears. A pony walks into a bar and coughs. Hey, <coughs> give me a <coughs> beer. <coughs> the bartender serves him and says, What's with your voice? The pony says, Nothing. I'm just a little horse. A guy with amnesia walks into a bar and asks the bartender, Do I come here often? Page 70 A string walks into a bar. A string walks into a pub and sidles up to the bar. Bartender, pour me a beer, he shouts. The bartender walks over to the string, looks him up and down, and says, We don't serve your kind here. What do you mean, asks the string. The bartender points to a sign hanging over the bar and reads aloud, No strings served here. The string turns around and walks out of the bar. As he stands outside, he gets an idea. He bends all the way over, rubs his head on the cement, grabs his feet, pulls them, and twists them around his body, and then around his body again. Then he re-enters the bar. Bartender, pour me a beer, the string demands. The bartender walks up to him and angrily says, Look, I already told you, we don't serve strings here. The string, looking surprised, says, String? You think I'm a string? The bartender responds, Of course you're a string. You were a string when you came in a minute ago, and you're a string now. No, I'm afraid not, replies the string. Page 72 More questions to ponder. How can you ever get off a nonstop flight? Why are goods sent by ship called cargo and those sent by truck a shipment. If poison passes its expiration date, is it more poisonous or is it no longer poisonous? Why is the time traffic moves the slowest called rush hour? Page 73. How come noses run and feet smell? Why do they call it a TV set when there's only one? How come lipstick doesn't do what it says? How can you tell when you run out of invisible ink? Why doesn't glue stick to its bottle? Page 75 A frog walks into a bank. A frog walks into a bank to get a loan. He goes up to the loan officer, Miss Paddywhack, and says, I'd like to borrow some money to buy a new car. My old one barely runs anymore. Miss Paddywhack asks him, Do you have anything of value you can put up against a loan to show that you will pay it back? The frog holds up a small statue of a lily pad. Only this sculpture my mother gave me. 
The loan officer scratches her head and stares at the little ornament. I'll have to ask about this, she says, and she walks over to the bank manager to discuss the situation. After hearing the story, the manager looks her straight in the eye and says, It's a knick-knack, Paddywhack. Give the frog a loan. Page 77 Some Classic Riddles Why is England known for being such a wet country? The Queen has been raining there for years. What did the fisherman say to the magician? Pick a cod, any cod. Why do you never see elephants hiding in trees? Because they're so good at it. What happens when chemists die? They bury him. What did the man say when the bridge fell on him? The suspension is killing me! Page 78 What is a thesaurus's favorite dessert? Synonym buns. What do you call a guy who jumps into a river in Paris? Insane. Do you think glass coffins will be a success? Remains to be seen. Why don't eggs tell jokes? They'd crack each other up. Why did the Vikings sail old ships? They couldn't fjord new ones. How did the Vikings signal each other? With Norris code. What did Tennessee? The same thing that Arkansas. Page 79. How many ears does Captain Kirk have? Three. The left ear, the right ear, and the final front ear. What do prisoners use to call each other? Cell phones. What do you call a hen who counts her eggs? Oh, Mathem a chicken. How does a penguin build a house? He glues it together. What do you call a salmon with two knees? A toonie fish. How do you get a squirrel to like you? Climb a tree and act like a nut. Page 80. What do you call a baby monkey? A chimp off the old block. What lies at the bottom of the ocean and twitches? A nervous wreck. What do you call an alligator that breaks the law? A crocodile. What do you call an alligator that makes a living solving crimes? An investigator. What does the ocean say when it's greeting its friends? Nothing. It just waves. How does Darth Vader like his toast? On the dark side. Page 81. Why did the man name his new puppies Rolex and Timex? They were watchdogs. Why do melons have weddings? Because they can't elope. Why did the raisin go out with the prune? Because he couldn't find a date. What was the young wizard's favorite computer program? Spell checker. What happens if you don't pay your exorcist? You got repossessed. How often do English teachers grade grammar tests? Now and then. Page 82. If you enter a bathroom American and leave it American, what are you while you're inside the bathroom? European. Why wasn't the window a good liar? It was transparent. When does a joke become a dad joke? When it's full grown. Why can't trains be trusted? They have locomotives. Do you have weight loss mantras? Fat chance. Why don't crabs share with others? Because they're shellfish. Page 83. Which state is famous for its tiny soft drinks? Minnesota. What did the bald man exclaim when he received a comb for a present? Thanks, 
I'll never part with it. A man tells his doctor, Doc, help me. I'm addicted to Twitter. The doctor replies, Sorry, I don't follow you. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One is really heavy and the other is a little lighter. Page 84. What do you call a hippie's wife? Mrs. Hippie? How do lawyers say goodbye? I'll be suing you. Why did the coffee file a police report? It got mugged. What did the fried rice say to the shrimp? Don't walk away from me. How do they figure out the price of hammers? Per pound. How do you get a squirrel to like you? Act like a nut. Page 85. Why can't a nose be 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. What kind of snake can always be counted upon? The adder. Why was the math book worried? It had lots of problems. Why wasn't the photon carrying a suitcase? It was traveling light. What happened when the dentist and the manicurist got married? They fought tooth and nail. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. Page 86. Why don't skeletons go trick-or-treating? Because they have no body to go with. What did the grape do when he got stepped on? He let out a little whine. Why was the belt sent to jail? For holding up a pair of pants. What is an astronaut's favorite part on a computer? The space bar. How did the hipster burn his mouth? He drank the coffee before it was cool. Why did the Oreo go to the dentist? Because it lost its filling. Page 87. Why is it annoying to eat next to basketball players? They dribble. What breed of dog can jump higher than buildings? Any dog. Buildings can't jump. Why did the chicken go to the seance? To get to the other side. Where are the average things manufactured? The satisfactory. Why did the scarecrow win an award? He was outstanding in his field. What did the fish say when he ran into a wall? Damn! Page 89. A Mole Story. Long ago, in a kingdom on a hill, there lived a palace gardener named Lucas. Lucas kept the gardens beautifully. The flowers bloomed, weeds were pulled, vegetables and fruit grew abundantly. Only one problem kept the garden from being perfect. For years, a mole had made the garden his home. He'd been around so long that the palace staff had given him a name. They called him Joel. One day, the king tripped over one too many mole hills. He called Lucas into his chambers and ordered him to get rid of the mole. Lucas started off optimistically, thinking... It would be an easy task, but over the years, Joel had grown to be gigantic and had become quite clever. Nothing Lucas tried could get rid of the mole. Months passed, and the king called Lucas before him, demanding an explanation. Lucas looked at him sadly and said, Oh, king, Joel is a scary old mole. Page 91 why should the number 288 never be mentioned? It's too gross. What do you call a pencil with an eraser on each end? Pointless. Why do people love Australian bears? They have great qualities. How do you get into the Australian bear sanctuary? You have to qualify. Why doesn't Dracula have any friends? He's a real pain in the neck. Page 92. How does NASA organize a party? They plan it. Why is Peter Pan always flying? Because he never lands. I love this joke because it never grows old. 
Two windmills are standing on a wind farm. One asks, what's your favorite kind of music? The other replies, I'm a big metal fan. What type of clothing does a house wear? Address. Where will you find a car with no engine? Right where you left it. Page 93. What kind of exercises do lazy people do? Diddly squats. What's the difference between a poorly dressed man on a tricycle and a well-dressed man on a bicycle? A tire. Why do nurses carry red pens? Sometimes they need to draw blood. Why was the baseball stadium so hot after the game? All of the fans left. Page 94. How did the art class contest end? In a draw. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. How educated is the sun? It has about a million degrees. What are a shark's two favorite words? Man overboard. Why do ghosts make such bad liars? Because they're easy to see through. Why did the leopard always lose at hide and seek? He was always spotted. Page 95. What's the best food to eat before a workout? Mussels. What happened when the thief fell in wet cement? He became a hardened criminal. Did you hear the rumor about peanut butter? Well, I'm not going to spread it. Why are graveyards so popular? People are dying to get in. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. What kind of shoes do burglars wear? Sneakers. Page 96. What's orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot. Why do piggy banks give such good advice? They have sense. I was reading a paper and noticed an advertisement for burial plot. I said to myself, that's the last thing I need. Did you know French fries aren't cooked in France? They're cooked in Greece. What kind of shorts do clouds wear? Thunder pants. Page 97. Why did the man become an astronaut? He just needed a little space. Why don't scientists trust atoms? They make up everything. What did the Buddha say to the hot dog vendor? Make me one with everything. Why did the gym close down? It just didn't work out. What do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? An irrelevant. What did the buffalo say when his eldest boy left for college? Bye, son. Page 98. What did the pirate say when he turned 80? I, matey. Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use honeycombs. Why did the yogurt go to the art exposition? Because it was cultured. What happened when the dog ate the Scrabble tiles? He kept leaving little messages around the house. Last night I was reading a book about a new kind of airplane, but it went right over my head. Why can't male ants sink? They're boy ants. Page 99. What does Charles Dickens keep in his spice rack? The best of times, the worst of times. What do you call a parade of rabbits hopping backwards? A receding hairline. What did the shark say when he ate the clownfish? This tastes funny. My friend said I didn't know the meaning of the word procrastinate. I said, just you wait. Astronomers got tired of watching the moon go around the Earth for 24 hours, so they decided to call it a day. Page 100 Why can't you explain puns to kleptomaniacs? 
They always take things. Literally. Why did the man decide to let his hair grow? He couldn't figure out a way to stop it. What is the handiest type of tree? The palm. What's black and white and goes around and around? A penguin in a revolving door. Why did the newlywed keep putting her hand up to her ear? She wanted to hear her diamond ring. Page 101. Some funny signs and notices. These are all real. Procrastinators Anonymous meeting postponed. Watch out for falling cows. Unattended children will be given an espresso and a free puppy. Ninja exit only. Page 102. For sale. Parachute. Only used once. Never opened. Notice. Drivers don't carry burritos. Are you blind, disabled, or deceased? Win a free ride in a police car just by shoplifting in this store. Page 103. Sign on a photographer's shop. Shoot the kids. Hang the family. Frame the wife. Notice, posted near a stream in a public park. Please don't throw your cigarette butts on the ground. The fish come out at night and smoke them, and we're trying to get them to quit. Page 105. Restaurant sign. Eat, Jessica's family. This is a private sign. Please do not read. Touching wires causes immediate death. $200 fine. Page 106. Not responsible if seagulls eat your funnel cake. Beware of Bob. Wash and vacuum senior citizens, 1595. Beware of unicorns. Page 107. Prepare for the unexpected. Beware of low-flying owls. Bonner Lake Campground. No camping. I'd turn back if I was you. Page 109. Albert Einstein's Driver. Albert Einstein had become one of the most popular and in-demand scientific speakers in the world. One day, on the way to another speaking engagement, Einstein noticed how much his driver looks like him. I'm sick of all these conferences, he says to the driver. I always say the same things over and over. The driver agrees. You're right. As your driver, I attend all of them, and even though I don't know anything about science, I could give the conference in your place. What a great idea, says Einstein. You be me at the conference, and I'll stand at the side dressed as your driver. So... They switch clothes, and as soon as they arrive, the driver dressed as Einstein goes on stage and starts giving the usual speech, while the real Einstein, dressed as the car driver, stands off to the side. All goes well until one scientist in the crowd wants to impress everyone by asking a very difficult question of Einstein, hoping he won't be able to respond. The whole room goes silent, holding their breath, waiting for the response. The driver, thinking quickly, looks at him and says, Sir, your question is so easy. I'm going to let my driver answer to it for me. Page 111. A great place to find dad jokes is in real newspaper headlines, such as these. Miracle cure kills fifth patient. Forecasters call for weather on Monday. Man accused of killing lawyer. Receives new attorney. Page 112. State population to double by 2040. Babies to blame. They always blame the babies. Amphibious pitcher makes debut. Was it for the Mariners? Cows lose their job as milk prices drop. Will they receive unemployment? Page 113. 
Mississippi's literacy program shows improvement. Breathing oxygen linked to staying alive. Police arrest everyone on February 22nd. Page 114. Thursday is canceled. Barbershop singers bring joy to school for the deaf. Homicide victims rarely talk to police. Bridges help people cross rivers. Page 115. City unsure why sewer smells. Starvation can lead to health hazards. Parents keep kids home to protest school closure. Federal agents raid gun shop, find weapons. Page 116. Safety meeting ends in accident. Murderer says, detective ruined his reputation. Utah Poison Control Center reminds everyone not to take poison. Page 117. Students cook and serve grandparents. Sometimes, the difference between a kindness and cannibalism is a simple comma. Attorney accidentally sues himself. Hospitals resort to hiring doctors. I suppose desperate times call for desperate measures. Page 118. Voters to vote on whether to vote. Museums full of history. Goat accused of robbery. News from Nigeria. Some places are tougher than others to be a farm animal. Page 120. The Lucky Orchestra Leader. An orchestra leader in Bulgravia was giving a command performance for the king. He was so excited. He kept waving his arms around wildly. As he was about to bring his baton down for the final chord, it flew out of his hand, sailed into the audience, and stabbed the assistant to the king through the heart. The orchestra leader was sentenced to death by electrocution. When the day of the execution came, he requested two bananas as his last meal. After eating the bananas, he was strapped into the electric chair. The switch was pulled, sparks flew, and smoke filled the air. But nothing happened. The man was perfectly fine. Two days later, the executioner tried again. And again, the man requested two bananas as his final meal. Once more, the orchestra leader was strapped into the electric chair. The switch was pulled. Sparks flew and smoke filled the air. But nothing happened. The man was completely unharmed. A week later, the execution was attempted for a third time, and exactly the same thing happened. The prisoner ate two bananas, was strapped in the electric chair, and when the switch was thrown, he was perfectly fine. Well, at the time, there was an old Bulgravian law that said when an execution failed three times, it was a sign of divine intervention. So, the man was allowed to go free. As the orchestra leader was walking out of the prison, the executioner said, I have to ask, how do bananas protect you from being electrocuted? The man answered, it's not the bananas. I'm just a bad conductor. Page 122. Father, I can't stop my son from chewing on electrical wires. What should I do? Counselor, I would ground him until he conducts himself properly. I didn't make it to the gym today. That makes five years in a row. Last year, I joined a support group for procrastinators. We haven't met yet. Of course I talk to myself. Sometimes I need expert advice. Page 123. English is funny. If you have a bunch of odds and ends and get rid of all but one of them, what do you call it? There is no egg in eggplant, no ham in hamburger, and no apple nor pine in a pineapple. And why is it that writers write, but fingers don't thing, grocers don't gross, and hammers don't ham? If the plural of goose is geese, why isn't the plural of moose meese? 
Why do we have noses that run and feet that smell? Page 124. Okay, just a few more jokes. The kids are taking a class trip to the Coca-Cola factory. I wonder if it'll end with a pop quiz. What does a clock do when it's hungry? It goes back four seconds. Jokes about German sausages are the worst. A soldier survived mustard gas and pepper spray. Now he's a seasoned veteran. Which dinosaur had the biggest vocabulary? The thesaurus. Page 125. If lawyers are disbarred and clergymen defrocked, then doesn't it follow that electricians can be delighted, musicians denoted, cowboys deranged, models deposed, tree surgeons debarked, actors and hairdressers departed, dry cleaners depressed, and builders deconstructed? Page 126. We hope you've enjoyed this book and got some laughs from reading it. If you did, we'd love a review. We're a small publisher and book reviews matter more than you think. Page 127 Other books recommended for you by Old Town Publishing. The Best Kids Joke Book Ever and Mad Words, My Weird Family, Silly Story Fill-Ins. Kids Crossword Puzzle Book. Hours of fun for kids age 7 and up. And Crosswords for Kids, best puzzle book for ages 9 and up. Crosswords for Kids, best puzzle book for ages 8 and up. And Word Search Puzzle Book, hours of fun for ages 8 and up. To discover more fine books for children and adults, visit www.oldtownpublishing.com.